principle of the typeface design was to create a type that could mold to many different applications and styles. Although the concept for this typeface changed drastically during preliminary sketches, the bold strokes remained a constant throughout the design. Most typefaces that are designed start with sketches and drawings, and once resolved are then replicated into a digital format. However, this typeface was developed with both a digital and sketch experimentation going through many iterations before the final template was decided upon. With the template finalised, I set about creating the glyphs to fit the grid. Certain glyphs such as M and X required customised glyphs to get the overall aesthetic. The symbols proved the most challenging as many custom grids needed to be made. For the poster, I wanted to demonstrate the type's flexibility by adapting to two contrasting styles. The digital poster focused on Bauhaus forms and layouts with the vibrant colours and tones of disco. To complement the style, a cutout image was sketched and traced in Illustrator to relate to the musical theme of the poster. The handmade poster's main goal was to show the adaptability of the typeface, contrasting with the digital poster. I aimed for a grunge style incorporating a stencil spray technique on a metallic background. Non-slip mats were used to get the carbon fibre background using spray paint to get the pattern. Once dried, the mats were removed and it was ready for the stenciling and reflective detailing.